new Open Master Cam 2024, the first major difference you will see is the cube in the lower left corner. The cube and gnomon can be used to maneuver around the part, change your T and C planes, and as always, create new planes. This video will show you how to use the cube and some other enhancements to Master Cam. So by clicking on the face of the cube, it'll update your view. If we go to the front view, it'll also update your construction plane and your tool plane. That only happens if you have these rules marked in your planes manager. So C plane follows G view and T plane follows C plane. By using the pan up and down, we can pan the screen up and down. Alternatively, if you hit Alt, we can rotate the part up and down. You can pan the part left and right. And again, Alt will rotate the part left and right. By hitting the Rotate button, it rotates the part 180. By Shift click, it'll flip the part 90. If we hit Shift and Alt together, it'll rotate the part 90 the opposite direction. By hitting control, it'll rotate the part clockwise. If you hit control alt, it'll rotate the part counterclockwise. If you do a right mouse button click on top of the cube, you have different options to turn the cube off, to show relatives to the WCS, create a dynamic plane, or go into the settings. Under settings, you have the ability to change the cube text size, the gnomon size, the cube opacity, the gnomon corner size, display text size, and overlay controls opacity. That's new in 2024.